On August the 25th at the O2 Academy in Newcastle, WCPW is offering 15 wrestlers the opportunity of a lifetime. All have been personally invited by your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, to compete in our first ever Rumble to decide who is truly worthy of facing him at WCPW Refuse to Lose on October 6th. Now, this will be no ordinary Rumble. Not only can wrestlers be eliminated by being hurled over the top rope, they can also be beaten by either pinfall or submission until there's only one man left standing. Let's run down the stats of the match, see who's got the best advantage. Of course, I could just state here and now that the winner would be big. Big Demo, but he'll be far too busy defending his WCPW World Championship because obviously you idiot. The lineup can always change, but right now I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and here are the 10 facts about the Kurt Angle Invitational you need to know. Remember you can pick up tickets to be there live at WC.PW. Number 10, EC3 looks to improve his record. As exciting an idea as it may be for everyone else involved who test their skills against Kurt Angle for the first time, Ethan Carter III, Drew Galloway and Doug Williams already know what it's like. Doug Williams, who's already slated to face Cody Rhodes on October 6th, has stated that he wants the opportunity to pull double duty and in his own words, send two Yanks packing on the same night to make Britain great again. Galloway is currently unbeaten by Angle on UK soil and wants to keep that going, but EC3, he's the only man in WCPW to have faced Kurt Angle and never been pinned or submitted by the gold medalist. Not only that, but EC3 took championship gold away from Angle when he pinned him to win his first TNA World Heavyweight Championship. EC3 will look to continue his impressive record against the Olympian. Number 9, Villain versus Hero. When Kurt Angle debuted at the tail end of 1999 for WWE, there was barely anyone more irritating than the Olympic gold medalist. He was, and pardon our English, a gob who would celebrate victories over Sean Stasiak and Steve Blackman like he just won a second gold medal. Some might say that the heir to his irritating crown has been well and truly taken up by Martin Kirby, who in his first WCPW match would run around the ring any time he got even the slightest advantage over El Ligero. Like Angle in his early days, Kirby exudes annoying like a noxious gas, but lest we forget that Angle's persona saw him rise early to the top echelons of WWE, something which Kirby should be well aware of. Also, when it comes to the Olympic hero facing off against a villain, how about the villain? Marty Skrull umbrella-wielding star of the independent scene will be looking to make a huge statement on the 25th and that starts with winning the Kurt Angle Invitational. Number 8, Gabriel Kidd is the only competitor born after Kurt Angle's Olympic gold medal win. It's been over 20 years since Kurt Angle bagged an Olympic gold medal at the 1996 Summer Games in Atlanta, Georgia. Incredibly, as Angle was celebrating, Gabriel Kidd wasn't even born. Entering the world in 1997, Kidd wasn't sucking air until almost a full year following Kurt's historic victory at the Olympics. At 19 years old, he is by far the youngest competitor in the Invitational and will be looking to pull off the upset of a lifetime on August the 25th. The question is, will he share the same passion and fire that propelled a young Kurt Angle to Olympic gold? Number 7, Primate goes hardcore. The only way to be eliminated from the Rumble is via pinfall, submission or being thrown over the top rope. There's no rule to say the match can't get hardcore. The no holds barred element could suit the animalistic beast from Parts Unknown who's already battled rival Joe Coffey around Warehouse 34 and left our ring patched with blood from poor Drake's head. If Primate's instinct start to go for weapons, who might be able to stop him from staking his claim and dethroning Angle as the king of suplexes? Number 6, Drew Galloway's Rumble Experience. Of course, when it comes to Rumbles, there's none more well known than the Royal Rumble. Only one man in WCPW has experience in that match, and that man would be Drew Galloway, formerly known as Drew McIntyre. During his tenure with Vince McMahon's Can of Whams, Galloway featured in the 2010, 2011, and 2013 Rumbles. Granted, he didn't eliminate too many people over the course of those appearances, but with three Rumbles under his belt, he understands better than anyone the strategies that will be vital to victory. Number 5. Will Johnny Moss and Liam Slater have each other's backs? Bursting onto the scene with an impressive win over prospect members Lucas Archer and Drake, Liam Slater and Johnny Moss are a new force to be reckoned with in WCPW. Any rumble dictates that teammates won't be friends for long, but does the protective nature of Moss give Slater a better chance? There are other teams in WCPW, Joe Hendry and Joseph Connor spring to mind, but none who've wrestled exclusively tag like Moss and Slater. If they can continue the chemistry they showed in their debut match, could anyone stop them from dominating the competition. Then you have to ask, if the final two comes down to Slater and Moss, who the hell walks away from that one? Number four, Moose has the size advantage. Weighing in at an intimidating 309 pounds, Moose has the distinct bulk advantage to put the big into big favorite. Although at six foot five, he's not actually the tallest entrant revealed yet. That honor goes to six foot seven, Mr. Galloway. He's definitely the heaviest, and it may take the teamwork of multiple competitors to chuck him over the top rope. A former offensive linesman, Moose knows what it takes to be involved in a competitive environment with guys rushing you from all angles. 
rules. Could Moose's sheer size be too intimidating for the rest of the WCPW roster, or will their speed win out over Mass? Only problem is, Moose is pretty quick too. Number three, Joe Hendry has the amateur skills. Don't let the sparkly jacket and the parody pop songs fool you. Joe Hendry is one damn ambitious individual. Damn ambitious. The local hero is also currently training for the Commonwealth Games, setting his sights on success as an amateur wrestler. It'd be a huge feather in Hendry's cap if he won the Rumble and was then able to pit his amateur skills against a giant of that sport. Also, local hero versus Olympic hero? Anyone? Number two, will Joe Coffey be our Rumble's Iron Man? There are a few athletes in WCPW with the staying power that Iron Man Joe Coffey has. You see, Coffey's nickname wasn't born out of style over substance. There's a reason he's called the Iron Man. It's not specifically because of his entrance music or choice of mask. It's actually down to his innate ability to survive during lengthy matches. Coffey's conditioning is second to none and he knows what it takes to go the distance. He won't fear running through the entire roster to achieve a mighty victory. After all, it's what he does. And number one, El Liguero's unbeatable advantage. El Liguero isn't called the Mexican sensation for nothing, just ask Ring of Honor world champion Jay Lethal. To date, Liguero has quietly amassed as impressive a series of performances as anyone in the company, and to date, he is yet to be pinned or made to submit. No one has been able to put him away in one-on-one -on -one competition, and should El Liguero walk away from the rumble horns held high, Kurt Angle will become the single greatest threat to that streak. All he has to do is avoid his aerial offense taking him over the top rope, and if he does that, El Liguero may just be the rank favorite to win the Rumble. Do you disagree? Who do you want to see face Kurt Angle? Tell us below in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the Invitational will air in early September, but if you want to see the result live on the 25th, pick up tickets at wc.pw. Be quick, they're running low. Were you one of the unlucky few who couldn't get tickets for July's WCPW tapings? Well, make sure you pick up tickets for August as they're already extremely limited. On August 24th, we'll be presenting a special live pay-per-view quality show, WCPW Stacked, featuring Moose vs. Joe Coffey, the debut of the Women's Championship, Will Ospreay vs. Marty Skull. The WCPW Championship will be on the line. It'll be Joe Hendry, Joseph Connors, Big Demo, El Liguero, Primate, Grado, Drew Galloway, EC3, and GM'd by Eric Bischoff. Not just that, but on the 25th, we'll also be holding loaded tapings featuring the Kurt Angle Invitational, a pinfall and submission elimination rumble to decide who gets to face the Olympic hero in October. Grab your tickets for August at wc.pw while you still can. The two days are looking absolutely stacked.